Welcome to Joey's Tech. In this video, you will learn how to download and install Python on Mac. I have upgraded my Mac OS to Big Sur, but you can download Python on older Mac operating systems as well using this technique. So let's begin downloading and setting up Python on Mac. First, you need to open your browser. You can use a browser of your choice. I'll use Google Chrome. So I go to google.com and in the search bar, I type download Python and I hit enter. There you go. You will have to click on the first link, which will take you directly to the downloads page of the official website of Python. Now, simply click on this button to download the latest version of Python available. It will take a little bit of time to download. Also, you can scroll down the page and choose to download an older version of Python if you want to. You can see that the package is successfully downloaded. Now the next step will be to click on this package. You can easily do it from Chrome only. This window will appear in the front, which is the actual installation window. Click on continue. Then click on continue again. Click on continue another time. Now you will have to click on agree to show your agreement with their terms. Nothing to worry about. And finally, click on install. You will be prompted to enter your password. Now you can uh, also go through this using touch ID. I'll enter my password now. After entering your password, you will have to click on install software. You can see that the installation has begun. We'll give it some time. Less than a minute it says. There you go. Python is installed on Mac. I'll hit the close button. It is asking my permission to move the Python installer to the bin. I don't need it. So I'll click on move to bin. Now let's take a step further and check if Python is installed using terminal. So I'll hit command space, which will open the spotlight search for me. I'll type terminal and click on this first option. You can see that uh, I have this terminal window open. All I'll do is type Python three hyphen hyphen version and hit enter. You can see that I have Python installed on my MacBook. This is the same version that I downloaded earlier. You can check on your MacBook too in the same way. Also, if you type Python hyphen hyphen version, then you'll find the older version of Python installed. On my Mac, you can see that I had this pre-installed version. Now, let me tell you how you can run your first Python program. To run your first Python program, you need to make use of idle. Idle is the default integrated development environment, which is bundled in the same package, which you use to install Python. To open idle, press command space and open spotlight search. I'll type Python here. So in the search results, you can see a listing as Python 3.9. This is the same folder that got created just now after I installed Python. Once you go into this folder, double click on idle. This will open an idle shell window. Now I'll simply type print and then I won't type hello world inside it because it is so cliche. What I will type is my friend watching this video will be an expert in Python in the next six months. It's long, but it is full of conviction. Hit enter. There you go. We just ran our first Python program using idle shell. Most of the time you are going to write Python programs in files using idle. You can do it. So to open a file, click here on file and then on new file. Now you can write a program. I'm going to write a simple program of adding two numbers quickly. Okay, so I have finished writing the program. Now to save it and run, I'll have to press F5. It will prompt me to save the file to a default location. I'll give the file name as some program and hit save. 
you can see that the result of the program appears in the idle shell. There you go. You just learned another way of running a Python program using idle. So we have come to the end of this video in which you learn how to install Python on Mac, how to run a simple Python program using idle, which is the default ID of Python, both in shell and using file. I hope you found this video interesting. Like it, share it, tell people about it. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye and take very good care of yourself.